Haiti tea. As you all know, we're all stuck at home due to COVID-19. All New York City public schools were closed down on March 15th. Teachers, students, and staff have all been working remotely from home. As an art school, teachers have had to find a new way to maintain art alive amongst their students. I interviewed Ms. Brock and Ms. Gibbons to speak on this through their perspective. Thank you both for being a part of this. Enjoy. Can you guys introduce yourselves? <laughs> so I am Naomi Barak. I am a art teacher. Sure, and I'm also a lead technology teacher. Caitlin Gibbons, I teach ninth grade digital art and 10th grade cinema production. Like in one moment, did you guys like realize that, like, oh shoot, like this is going to affect the way I teach, you know? Right away. I was actually about to start like with my junior's robotics and then with my uh, sophomore stop motion animation and like both of those projects were just impossible to do. So I was like, well, uh, I got to switch gears a little bit and figure something out. We have access now to Adobe, but um, a bunch of different free programs that have been like been really helpful. When I started kind of planning with DT remotely, I was like, oh, this is going to be fine. This is great. And then, and then I went into another, like when we, I started communicating with students and they were just really, really upset that they were never going to be able, never going to be able to finish these films. It was like another wave. So it, it's been waves and then figuring out solutions to that and things like that. Do you guys think that remote teaching is more effective than in-person teaching? I think that this experience really made teachers and students take advantage of the tech tools that are out there. I don't think it will ever replace, you know, teaching totally. I think that that human touch is really important. I mean, I had, had an immediate reaction of like, no, this is not better. I do think the human touch is important, just like what Ms. Barack was saying. And I'm hearing from a lot of students that are really, really struggling with the lack of that right now and really feel like they need more than a Google Meet. Remote learning is not all bad. And I think we're making the best out of a situation. How do you guys influence um, your students to continue their artistic projects like the ones that they already have planned out for like the rest of the the year or like how do you like keep like I guess like inspiring them to like um, just keep doing art during like this time I mean I think like as a team we've done a lot to like continue to encourage their artistic practice like Miss Gibbons has done so much um, in regards to social media to, like give kids challenges each week and give them a like platform to show their work hopefully they create they're able to create projects that you know they might not be at the same level that they would have done in the building but they're um still expressing an idea and and kind of creating body work i think it's important to flex that creative muscle it's like encouraging and fostering that creativity that's important to i think that develops that's one part of developing a child um, but also being aware of this very stressful time. There's a lot of things I hope we take from this experience, but if there's one major one, it's not that art saved everybody because there's still a pandemic happening, but it's a resource for a lot of people right now. And it's an outlet for, I would say, like most of the world right now. I'm thankful that you guys were able to make it and that you guys are safe and you know, still inspiring us in different ways to just continue, like, just continue to create art because like making art like right now has been like very helpful for me. So yeah. <laughs> awesome, that's why we do it. <laughs>